When Tennessee Governor Phil Bredesen took office in 2003, the governor's mansion was in serious disrepair. So instead of moving in, he and First Lady Andrea Conte decided to launch a major renovation campaign. Tours were put on hold, but recently Ken Wilshire joined the First Lady to witness the long-awaited results. This beautiful stately home has seen visits from Presidents Kennedy, Johnson, Reagan, and Clinton. Other guests have included Johnny Cash, Minnie Pearl, and Elvis. It's the governor's mansion here in Nashville, and it's reopening its doors to visitors after a major renovation. The sprawling 16-room, three-story home was built in the early 1930s as a private residence. Eight governors have lived here since the state purchased it in 1949. It was long overdue for repairs, including the leaky roof that caused major water damage inside, huge amounts of lead paint on the walls, hazardous electrical wiring, and much more. So Governor Phil Bredesen and First Lady Andrea Conti accepted the renovation challenge in 2003, and under the First Lady's guidance, the project is now complete. The house is livable again, and it's ready for visitors. What we wanted to do was to restore the residence so that uh, when people came through, they would just see what uh, all the wonderful things that Tennessee has to offer. We caught up with the First Lady giving the first media tour of Conservation Hall, the newest addition to the home. It's mostly underground and adjacent to the residence. The beautiful new facility will accommodate about 160 guests for meetings, dinners, and other official state functions. Following the media tour, we had some time to sit down with the First Lady and talk more about the scope of the renovation, which has truly preserved a major piece of Tennessee history. As you enter the building, there is an entry area. In the floor is black and white marble that is original to the home. There is a curved staircase leading to the second floor, again, original to the home. All of the cornice work was repainted during the restoration, so it brings out the beauty and art of that. There is a state dining room that has held state dinners since the state has owned this property in 1949. So many famous people have sat around that dining room and many agreements have been reached around that dining room table. Actually, the renovation has made it possible for even more visitors to the mansion. It's now compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act. This house was not ADA compliant for years and years and years. And, well, in 1930, no one was thinking of those kinds of things. So what we did was install a ramp at the front entrance, which meant modifying the whole front entrance. It meant removing the columns. It meant extending the landing there so it could accommodate wheelchairs. And all of that was very painstaking work. There were just lots of things like that, uh, lots of detail work, lots of planning. And I can't say enough about the architects who are involved with this whole project, especially the Office of the State Architect. I have to say they did a, just a magnificent job. And if you didn't already know, the First Lady is all about recycling. If it was reusable, it was recycled. All of the slate that came off the roof was saved and has been used for art projects. Probably the most notable being the sculpture that's now standing in the courtyard of Conservation Hall, which is called In the Presence of Presence. That sculpture is completely clad in mosaic pieces of slate. When it came time for removing drapery and doing some of the rest of the interior design as far as upholstery and that kind of thing, any fabric that was any way reusable went to our textile artists in Tennessee, and we had seven artists who participated. 
and they used all of those fabrics in making pieces of art that they brought back to us. And we have several pieces of those hanging in the residence today. Tell us about these bowls. You said they're from recycled wood out of the, the mansion? We had several trees that came down and what we wanted to do with the trees was to get the wood to wood artists. We had an amazing number of wood artists who were interested. So all of these pieces were actually made from wood that came from the grounds of the hmm. residence. Um, the, it, a lot of it is walnut. This particular one is sycamore. Um, and this has got some maple in it. Uh, but just the, our, our wood artist just made some absolutely gorgeous pieces. Even the new wood flooring and conservation hall is made from logs retrieved from the bottom of the Cumberland River. They were lost many years ago as loggers moved their timber to mills downriver. In short, Governor Bredesen and First Lady Cotty have completed a long overdue renovation of the executive residence and left a promising legacy for future generations. It's full of Tennessee history and art and a precious jewel in the state's crown of places to see. Mm -hmm.